Hello and welcome back to another episode. As you can tell, once again, I'm not down the plot. I am in the greenhouse. Um, as I'm sure is the same with many of you, um, it's absolutely soaked down the plot. There's no point in me going down there. I'm just going to make a mess of myself and of the ground. So I'm going to leave it to dry out for a little while. Um, so what I've got instead is a new toy that I've bought. So I have bought a hot bin composter. Um, it wasn't something I was going to buy, it's something that I'd looked at before and thought that's really good, but it's quite expensive. And I was going to get by with a normal compost bin at home. However, as you may or may not know, I've had a bit of an issue with rats. Um, or mice, I'm not sure which. I think it's rats, there's a big hole there, but I've managed to catch three mice outside of the compost bin. So it might be both, I don't know. I'll just quickly show you the big hole that we've got by the compost bin. So there we go, you might be able to see we've got a big hole that's come from under the fence and it's going into the compost bin. I have got a couple of rat traps out, there's another one down the other end. Um, and this has actually, the last three days, caught a mouse every day. So there's definitely things in the compost bin that I would rather weren't in the compost bin. So here we go, here is the hot bin composter. Uh, this is the hot bin composter mini so it's 100 litres um, which is a lot bigger than I actually thought it was so what we've got with the hot bin uh, composter it's made of this um, almost like polystyrene I think it's probably propylene that it's made out of um, it has a built-in thermometer on the top and a little valve here to let air in and out and then behind th within this there's um, like a, a filter type medium to filter out any smells It's got a very creaky liftable lid, as you can see here. That's where all the excess gases kind of come out. Down at the bottom, there's like a little gritty type thing. And what this allows is for any moisture to run out the bottom rather than staying within the compost. And at the bottom here, we've got a little um, thing to drain that out so that we can use that on the garden. So at the front here we have a little door which is where we get the compost out of and there is a strap here that goes in front of it just to stop this door popping out and what i've done with this as well is i've built a little frame it's just a quick rush jobby and the idea of this is that i can put a trug underneath when i scrape the compost out so rather than making a mess it all goes straight into the trug and the reason that i've got it in the greenhouse is it gets very hot so it should get up to about 60 degrees and some of that heat is going to come out of the valve at the top so my thinking is that this will help to keep the greenhouse a little bit warmer as well it might not work um, but if nothing else it's going to help to keep the composter in a warmer environment and as i say hopefully it will help to heat up so we get a couple of other little things with the hot bin as well Okay, so we get this unusual looking hook. So this is to help mix all the compost around inside. Um, because you do put a mix of a bulking agent, some shredded paper, and then your green waste. And this just helps you to mix it all around a little bit. We also get a kickstart bottle. And the idea of this is that you can put some hot water in here, so boiling water, put this within the compost and that can help to bring the temperature up, kickstart it. And what we also have, let's get it out of the box, is another thermometer here, which we put inside in the compost to get a more accurate temperature. So I'm going to st get this started. At the moment, there's nothing in it. And I'm going to start with a bit of compost out of the old compost bin, some green waste, some shredded paper, and some of the bulking agent. And then I think, because it's fairly chilly, I'm going to get the kickstart bottle in as well. So one of the things the instructions suggest doing is putting some twigs and sticks at the bottom. This is just to help with the aeration at the bottom, because the way this works is it draws in cold air through the bottom up into the compost heap then heats up. So I'm going to get these stuck in. So what I've got next is I've got some partially composted stuff from the other composter 
and over time I'm slowly going to get that put in here to break down as well. Yeah, this is quite difficult to get in. Okay, so that's some of the old compost in. As I say, over time, I'm gonna try and get as much of that old compost through this hot bin composter as well, just to get it well and truly broken down. Because I do eventually wanna get rid of that composter, just because I don't want the rats and mice in the garden if I can help it. So one of the other things that you do get with this, you get a bag of wood chips, which is used as a bulking agent. This should last a little while. Um, luckily down the allotment plots, there is a abundant supply of wood chipping. So we get a tree surgeon quite often comes and drops them down there. So I can always refill this bag quite easily. So I'm gonna chuck a load of those in. enough of that for the moment just give that a bit of a mix around I have to say I am surprised how effective this little uh, hook is at mixing everything around in there didn't think it'd be much good but actually it's really good for getting in and lifting stuff quite easily so next item that's going to add, get added is a load of shredded paper. This is just shredded bills and things like that. Um, apparently the idea of this is that it helps to keep the compost dry. It soaks up some of the liquid that's in there and means that you don't get such soggy compost. So I'm going to stick all that in. get that all mixed around as well. Okay, so as you can see, it's getting really dark, so I'm gonna get this in. So that's the Kickstarter bottle filled up with hot water. I'm just gonna make like a little groove inside there, bury this in there, and then walk away and leave it for a few days and see what happens. And there we go, it's all done. So we've got the used compost, green waste, the bulking agent, the wood chips. We've got some shredded paper in there. And now we've got the Kickstarter bottle as well. So hopefully in a few days that'll be coming up in temperature nicely and we can start adding some more bits and bobs to it and hopefully get some nice compost fairly quickly. So as you can tell, I've come back into the, the shed just because it was getting really dark out there, as you'll probably tell in the last little snippet of video. I do have some lighting out in the greenhouse. It is battery powered LED lighting, um, but unfortunately the batteries have run out. So I'm hoping to replace those with some of the power packs that you get for mobile phones. So I'm liking what I've seen so far with the hot bin. It seemed really easy to set up. Obviously the proof is gonna be in whether I get decent compost out of it. So they say that you can make a sort of a rough compost for mulching at 30 days and a decent fully composted mix at 90 days. That's obviously as long as it gets up to temperature. 
It also does say that you can break down bones, you can break down cooked meat and things like that. So it's gonna be quite useful at getting rid of my kitchen scraps, but that all relies on it getting up to temperature. So I will follow up in the coming days. I'll probably be back in two or three days just to see how the temperature's going up. And then when I've got some more food waste in a few days time, I'll be coming to put it back out. And hopefully when I open the lid, I'll get a nice face full of steam. That would be ideal. So until then, take care. Happy Lockdown.